I'm Dr. Rajan Gogna. I'm one of the scientists participating in the cancer program at the Champollimart Foundation. At Champollimart Foundation, we are trying to find fundamental yet innovative ways to fight cancer. Cell competition can help explain the initiation and growth of cancer in our body. Core behavior of cancer cells is highly competitive and fit group of cells which can outcompete its neighbors. So a cancer cell appears in an organ and it has a fate and that fate is determined by its interactions with its tumor microenvironment or the stroma. A cancer cell will have a journey of many years in which it will try and divide, create space for itself, grow in that organ. To grow in that organ, it has to eliminate the cells which are already existing in that organ. And this interaction is based on fundamental principles of a process called cell competition. We produce many, many cancer cells in our body every day. And most of them are thrown out. Most of them are checked by our immune system. But some escape. Those which escape come and affect our organs. So is immune response the only response we are left with to fight cancer? We are discovering no. Cell competition can allow our body in a very localized manner to fight and mount a response against these preliminary cancer cells. This research paper, which has recently been accepted for publication in Nature, talks about a single system with which tumor and its microenvironment can interact with each other. Cancer cells and the microenvironment cells have the ability to recognize each other. They communicate with each other based on fitness fingerprints. What we have found is that fitness fingerprints are on surface expressed as proteins of both cancer cells and the microenvironment cells. These fitness fingerprints help these two groups to communicate with each other, to compare their relative fitness levels. We have discovered a new protein called flower. It is located on chromosome number nine, open reading frame number seven. This protein has several isoforms. One of the isoform is called win, and other isoform is called lose. Cells expressing win isoforms come in contact with cells expressing loose isoforms and mark them for apoptosis. They're responsible for elimination of cells which express loose isoforms. The same principle is applicable and existent in human cancer. Cancer cell overexpresses flower win isoforms and the surrounding microenvironment in the immediate vicinity of the cancer overexpresses flower loose isoforms. This is the mechanism through which the cancer communicates with cells of the stroma, which are expressing flower loose isoforms, and tells them we have to grow. We need you out of here. We will push you for elimination and death. And that's how we are gonna create space for us. We have immediately seen advantages of this research. We have tried to knock out this gene, the flower gene, from a variety of cancer models, ovarian, colon, pancreatic. And we have tried to see the combinatorial effects of flower gene knockout with standard care of chemotherapy. And results are very exciting. We have observed a combination of flower knockouts with standard care of chemotherapy is able to completely eliminate tumor existence and metastasis in many cases. It appears more flower loose we have in our body, much easier it is for cancer cells to come and grow in that organ. So there is an opportunity for us to explore chemo preventive strategies. I would like to thank my collaborator, Dr. Eduardo Moreno and Dr. Esha Madan for coming up with such exciting research material which can be of great benefit, not only to society, but also to the research community. We are going to take this research forward. We are going to try and understand its mechanism, and we are going to make it into a therapeutic system with which we can help treat patients better.